If you're getting sick of seeing this, Microsoft recommends you reserve your copy of Windows 10 NAG screen. It's pretty easy to get rid of. Just click on this little up arrow, customize. The application is called GWX that's launching this. So you can tell your system tray for GWX, hide that icon and the notifications. As soon as you do that, this will never show up again in your system tray. If you want to take it a step further and actually remove GWX from your computer, you can do that too. Just go to Task Manager by right-clicking Start Menu and going Start Task Manager. In your Processes list, find GWX. There it is. Right-click, End it, End Process, End Process. Now it's gone, even if you click on this up arrow. Although it shows it there, when I float over it, it'll disappear. That's just a Windows refresh issue. Uh, so now it's disabled, excuse me, it's actually unloaded from System RAM, and now we can remove the Windows Update program that added it. To do that, we need to go to an admin command prompt. There's a couple ways to do that. You can click on Start, All Programs, Accessories, right-click Command Prompt, and say Run as Administrator, or click on the Window key, R. That'll bring up your Run box, type CMD, short for Command, and that will bring you there as well. So we need to go WUSA space forward slash uninstall space forward slash KB colon 3035583. That's the Windows update that installed GWX. So this is telling it to uninstall 3035583. One caveat here is if I'm going to tell this yes, uninstall it. One caveat here is if you're uh, Windows installation is set to automatically download and install Windows updates. This uh, 303 3035583 will probably end up just downloading again and you'll end up with these GWX um, updates uh, notifications popping up in the system tray. So you'd have to actually change your Windows update settings by going to control panel type Windows update go to Windows update change your settings for Windows Update, and you could change just this to download updates, but let me choose whether to install them. And uh, when that happens, the next time it pulls KB3035583, you can right click on it and say hide update. Um, then it will never try to install that again, even if you change this back to install updates automatically. I think um, all of that is a pretty uh, complicated workaround for the simple um, nagging of this GWX pop-up. Um, so, you know, my, my prescribed method, easiest way to go is just to click on that little up arrow, customize, find your GWX in this list. There it is. And make sure that it's set to hide icon and notifications. That should do it. Hopefully that was helpful for you. and You'll no longer be nagged to upgrade to Windows 10. If you want to do it manually, very easy to do. I've got a whole video on doing a clean installation to Windows 10. Um, and if you do decide to make that jump, you can easily install Windows 10 um, from the Windows 10 installer from the web. Check out that video if you're interested. Thanks a lot.